Oh, welcome back my gardening and composting friends. Well, it's time for the autumn fall leaf mould uh, collection and uh, I've done a bit this morning. It's Sunday the 10th of uh, November 2019 and uh, this video will be added to uh, the my playlist uh, at the end where there's uh, I've done other videos, so you, I'm not going to bore you um, this year with everything else when you can actually go back and have a look at the last two or three years where I've been collecting uh, the uh, autumn, uh, autumn leaves. Why do I collect them? Because I want to. They're a great uh, gardening friend and we need to replicate what nature does. Now the trees drop the seeds onto the floor and then they drop the leaves on top of the seeds. That acts as uh, a weed mulch to stop any other weeds overtaking the tree's seeds. So I collect the leaves, I put them into my double pallet uh, bin. They stay there for 12 months and then I move them to the other bin. And you can see uh, the previous videos on that. Uh, to help with the composting process I do try and drag some of the soil as well and the old leaves that I didn't pick up the year before which has got lots of worms in so the worms are my main uh, uh, way of uh, breaking down some of these leaves and we can also uh, use coffee grounds and I use urine and my fish poo and I add those in layers. In previous years I've added soil from molehills but I've found especially this year and the previous year if they get too wet I struggle to get them through my trommel which uh, you may have previously seen but because I've had such an influx of subscribers due to uh, the TV I've, I've been on t uh, TV, radio and newspapers. YouTube blocked um, our subscribers for about two months and now they've picked up. So I've got lots of new viewers out there and thank you very much for all the new uh, subscribers. Uh, I hope you appreciate uh, my time and effort uh, making these to share with you. I do enjoy sharing. It gives me that uh, bit of an up and go. And like I said, I've picked uh, five today, five, five of these bags. Now these bags, uh, the builders bags, they're one ton builders bags. Um, years and years ago, they used to have deposits on these, which meant that once you've emptied them, they go back. But unfortunately, uh, people started uh, being badly injured or even killed uh, with these bags um, failing. So if you ever see any of these bags, they're really useful. People do want to get rid of them and the five that you see today are all from one certain person that had some uh, materials delivered. So these are a good use. Uh, my wheelbarrow of course and uh, not forgetting the, uh, the leaf grabbers. Now I've had these about four years. Uh, Tony O'Neill on UK Here We Grow uh, used these. I bought some and you can see gaffer tape to repair them keep them out of the sunlight throughout the year and they do last but when you run over them with a wheelbarrow with a fully laden um, one ton bag it doesn't do them any good so they're me leaf grabbers I do need to get some more and this is uh, the rake I use you may be able to see now <coughs> that uh, we're having uh, a few tines break now and I think this is what they use in the golf bunkers and uh, I know there's a lot of you support me out there I don't have a wish list uh, I don't ask for anything but uh, if anybody does want to help me out uh, and who appreciate my videos uh, just drop me an email and uh, I'm, I will be after some more leaf grabbers and um, a rake for the bunker uh, and as you know I do monetize but uh, few pennies that do come in I think I'm going to struggle to uh, get uh, some of those uh, for next year so let's uh, have a little look at the other the bags uh, what else was going to say yeah what what can we do with these leaves now I'm using one ton bags you can maybe uh, use dustbin bags uh, now 20 of these bags 
you'll end up with one bag of leaf mold. I've got three wheelie bins which I estimate to be about um, just under a ton uh, or a ton bag uh, in volume, a cubic metre. But if you've got an area on your allotment or growing space that's a little bit overgrown, uh, cooch grass, mare's tail, you can stack those um, bin bags on that for 12 months and that'll just help. Uh, again next year or even this year I'm going to mulch my beds with fresh leaves they must be a good mulch because that's what the trees do so let's go and have a little look around and see um, what I've achieved uh, in previous years uh, mainly for my new subscribers so sorry if I'm uh, going to repeat myself and I've been out running five miles Saturday and six miles Sunday now oh, I've done about two miles with uh, <laughs> all these bags so we've got some those bags stacked there and I have got the mower and I was going to actually mulch these up but I haven't got time today uh, these this is what you get after two years twigs whatever comes through the trommel but I've got three wheelie bins full and I can't move them so that's why I'm going to be building uh, some pallet bins uh, especially uh, just for the leaf mold uh, and for the spent potato compost and the spent um, compost that I find on the side of the road that the fly tippers uh, the cannabis growers fly tip on the side of the road I need somewhere for that as I collect it during the season really to add to the beds uh, in the uh, the following uh, autumn so this is my double pallet bin it's lined I prefer to line it and I do leave leaves in the bottom about uh, six inches uh, 150 mil because the worms are in there and as soon as the leaves come on top they'll uh, be happy chappy so this two pallet bin and then it goes into a single pallet bin and uh, my previous uh, videos I've had to put extensions on but you may be able to see now it's actually uh, it's dropped down to there and eventually it'll drop right down to there and I can take uh, this off well I might take it off I might just leave it on and uh, I'll just uh, help it down but this is 12 month old this so this is what I collected uh, last year and that's 20 there's actually 20 one ton bags in that uh, pallet bin there so just stand back just so I can show you that so there's the double pallet bin there's the one ton bag and there's the single pallet bin that's got quite a good extension on so after 12 months just over well it is 12 months 20 of those bags will fit in there so it's it's a lot of effort but uh, bar gum it's uh, absolutely uh, worth it when you get this sort of material out of it and I say I can't actually move those without putting a bit of strain on myself so I've got to make it easier for myself in years to come when I'm a little bit older so if you've got any questions just pop them in the comments and uh, please take the time uh, to give me a like the last time I asked you to give me a like uh, or a dislike don't care uh, I ended up with uh, about 15 extra subscribers so it's surprising uh, just by pressing that like button uh, where my videos end up going and at the moment I'm getting over the whole channel 900 uh, on average views per day uh, on all my old videos especially leaf mold and other uh, YouTube searches so let's move on there to November's um, vegetable harvest Excuse me. Is it clusters harvesting when you're just grazing around the allotment? Oh dear, they uh, some of them now have had their day. This is the best way to eat them. Excuse me. 
Well, this kale, it's supposed to be dwarf and roughly uh, um, two, uh, two foot high, but we're getting up to about five foot. And I don't know why this year, we're uh, not so many white fly. But uh, I've been feeding it with my homemade liquids and uh, as you can see, just keep snapping them off. They've done uh, really quite well. The celery is uh, certainly doing better in these pallet collars and uh, we'll be taking uh, one of these today. They're not brilliant. No doubt if I'd have uh, tried to blanch them earlier on, they'd have been a lot better than that. Uh, this is the carrot box. It's three pallets high. The uh, carrot fly still gets to them. Uh, or other bugs, especially later on in the year, but I'm hoping that uh, we can keep uh, these going. And these are the sweet candle. And basically I use this label to identify how far along I've been. But uh, remember the days when you used to do a uh, looky dip and dive down, lovely. And uh, Robo Crop has been there and he's helped himself. So we've got, uh, some decent ones there. They all look good, but there are the odd mark on them. And uh, we do get the occasional one that uh, doesn't uh, play ball. But uh, well done, Robocrop. Give him a badge. This is my uh, parsnip box. It's f uh, four pallet collars high, just so we can get the length. And if you remember last time, we pulled uh, a parsnip from that side. That didn't, the two, first, those two rows didn't get any food. These two got food via a pipe right to the bottom. And as you know, the last parsnip come out, probably better than that one. That's uh, over a metre long and We've got uh, plenty of uh, parsnip there and the cores aren't too bad at the moment but if they do get too wet they do tend to go a bit hard but because uh, we're getting a, a good width even just by cutting some of the core out they're very very tasty either steamed or roasted. The uh, giant cabbage that's the one I had the photo took in the newspapers and by the time you've taken plenty of leaves off there's still the odd slug and worm inside but uh, they're all edible and I'm looking forward to harvesting this uh, giant uh, well I say giant <laughs> it's big and uh, got uh, quite a few pups there and I've got something to show you on the red cabbages that I didn't know before so these are some more red cabbage. These are the ones that I didn't I planted closer together so they didn't get so big, which is uh, what we uh, normally find. So there's uh, the red cabbage by the time I've taken everything off. And I noticed that the, these were growing. So I'm not sure whether it was that one, but these were actually growing inside the cabbage because I've been taking leaves off. And that's what was in there. Now I've explained to you before about the the pups which grow on the outside but they must grow on the inside as well. Is it just me or is this something else I've learned? Yeah, slice that off the bottom straight in my lunch box. You see that little one there? It amazed me today. Live and learn. Just give you a quick look at the uh, overwintering uh, broad beans and there's two more there finally showing so if I get a chance I can plant those in the middle. These uh, giant cabbages are a bit moth-eaten but when you get a bit of cabbage out that that will probably last us uh, a couple of weeks or a few days for my son if he decides to blend it. These are what onions survived. Some of them went to seed, but I'll just put them in this basket. And uh, Mrs. King asked for a two white and two red. And we'll see what we can get out of those and just removing the cores if they've uh, the ones that have gone to seed. Still plenty of flesh to take. 
So we're we'll just uh, going to the polytunnel. We've had uh, some uh, real good frost. These are the uh, uh, giant uh, cucumbers. And these are the, uh, I mainly got Sarpo, uh, the true potato uh, seed. Uh, I've got a reveal to do between uh, my compost and uh, some added fertiliser. But as you can see now, the uh, the frost has just started to get to these. So these have been very productive and uh, they're uh, pretty and sweet, uh, pointed peppers. And they were from Jazz from Alternative uh, Small Holding. So I'll take a few of these again today. If you remember my uh, tomato experiment where I sliced the tomatoes up and put them into uh, clean, fresh compost. Eh, they've even tried to start to grow this time of the year. They won't survive much longer once we get a few more uh, cool uh, nights. But it does show it's a good way to save them and they'll germinate in the spring when they're ready. Or when we want them to. Well, Robo crop, what do you think? Not bad for November. Well, for me anyway. So we've got a few nice peppers there, nice and crunchy in my uh, lunch box. We need some cabbage uh, for Sunday lunch today. The onions, parsnip, a few marks on it, soon come off. And there's that uh, little pup. There's some uh, kurobi, whatever it is. Red cabbage, celery and the carrots. And as you can see, even though the way I do it, they've all been protected throughout the summer, but if that carrot fly grub appears inside, uh, it is in, actually in the soil and it comes out and it gets trapped within the EnviroMesh, he's going to devastate our carrots. But we don't mind. It's, uh, there's plenty of carrot there to be going on with. <clears throat> and uh, like I say, I actually wash all my vegetables before I uh, leave them and these uh, thermal gloves are a godsend uh, don't ask me where I got them from somebody asked me before but there's a few details uh, I normally find all my gloves uh, in skips and uh, I'll give them a good wash in the washing machine when Mrs K isn't looking uh, because gloves can be quite expensive but this time of the year those gloves are absolute godsend We'll just uh, take a little stroll towards um, the no, the, my new, where my new beds are and uh, in the distance there you can see an old pond liner and it was in quite a big uh, pond. Uh, it's got a hole in the middle, that's where the filter was for um, the gentleman's uh, fish and uh, it keeps the water in but it should also keep the water out. So this will be cut into strips wide enough and this will be lining the new uh, raised beds to protect the wood uh, from uh, the moisture and the soil. We'll see how that uh, pans out. And before I leave, I must cover these carrots up to stop uh, the water getting to them because they will split. Happy gardening to you all. Thank you very much for all the uh, new subscribers. And if you've enjoyed the content of this video, then why not consider subscribing? Uh, hit my face, which will be in the middle of the screen shortly. And why not look at the playlist that's going to pop up as well, or may have already done so, and have a look at uh, all my videos on the autumn uh, fall leaf collection. Take care, my friends. Happy gardening, happy composting. Till next time, to Rafa now.